Okay, so I'm gonna do something really different for me. Um, I'm actually gonna do a love reading. So I'm really fascinated about um, Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley. I don't even know how to say her name, but I've loved this actress since I was young, like before Divergent and all that. So. I want to see what is in for the past, present, and future. Whoa. Okay. This is the past. May I have a card for the present? Future. Um, that's too many cards. One card, please. There we go. Strength. Eight of Swords. Okay, so in the past, we have the Nine of Wands, which is drained, resistant, and pushing through. In the present, we have Strength, Courage. What does that say? Overcoming and Control. And we have the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, lying to the truth, and self-limiting. Um, I see potential age might be an issue. I'm not saying that people with age gaps can't make it work. I'm just saying it's not very common. <laughs> but if I'm honest, like, I couldn't make it work. And it just, there's just so many differences. There is like a cultural difference. So let's see what this Nine of Wands is. Like one more card. No, not <laughs> four, just one. Too many. Too many. <sighs> Alright, since I'm not getting one, we'll see. So we have death, new beginnings, transformation, and peaceful movement. We got the Page of Swords. Curious, clever, chatty. I don't know if she is a air sign or not. Last card is faith. We know healing. Um... Okay, so this kind of tells me is that um, this relationship is definitely a healing relationship. Um, they're kind of healing from past, like, um, relationships that were very draining and moving forward to a new kind of love. Like, a new stage in their, like, what kind of relationships drawing in. Um, I definitely think she was the instigator of the relationship. She pursued Aaron. In this case, she was definitely, definitely the one that came forward. So, let's see what's happening currently with the strength card. I would like clarification on the strength card, please. Okay. Mmm. So, we're dealing with a soulmate here. Because the Two of Cups is mutual respect, love, and equity. This is always a soulmate card for me. So, this is definitely a high-level soulmate, I would say. Not Twin Flame. We do have the Five Sword here, which is surrender, defeat, and the cost of battle. Um, this could just be media attention. Um, whoa, sorry guys. I'm trying to take you guys out. <laughs> and we got the Knight of Swords in reverse. So, this unfocused follower mischance. Oh, I wonder if someone's going to cause trouble that kind of missed a chance with one of them. I am <laughs> so sorry, guys. Um, this tripod is... Oh, I'm still figuring out these camera angles. <laughs> I'm really surprised I haven't knocked it over. Because that's just totally something I do. I am complete so yeah we're still learning this that's a lot of cards but i'll take it anyway so in the future we have page of wands which is good news bright ideas russian head first um this could kind of make me think that maybe they're rushing a little bit um we got the five of cups which is focus on lost unwelcome changes and trauma um like i said they've had some bad relationships in the past 
in the future, some of these old behaviors um, they've learned from dealing with these bad relationships are likely to come up again. Um, we got the Knight of Wands, Fearless, Risk Taker, and Free Spirit. Um, we have the Magician, Cycles of Life, Fate, and Good Luck. And Six of Wands is Achievement, Recognition, and Being in the Spotlight. Well, they're celebrities. Of course they're in the spotlight. But if I would have to say is they might be rushing a little bit, and that's going to cause these traumas to come up. That they haven't dealt with, which is why they might feel trapped. But in the end, I, I really think this relationship is going to work out in their favor. Like, I do think this could be a long-term relationship for both of them. So, let's look at guidance from which deck? the Weakened Soul. Let's try the Weakened Soul. Kind of digging that one today. Let me grab the book, though. Because this is a new deck. I would like one guiding card from Awakened Soul. I want this one. Gaia. Alright, so Gaia, the symbol is nature, obviously. If you receive the Gaia card in your reading today, you are being asked to nurture yourself in a deep way. Self-care can come in many forms, but it has to be something that truly allows you to spend space to feel refreshed and recharged. You are being called to nurture the connection you have with the sacred in your life, especially a sacred feminine. Take some time to allow this space. This journey of the awakened soul, being aligned with a nature at natural rhythms of life, the cycles of seasons, the moon, and the magic and natural wonder that we are gifted with. This card is also called the arms of the sacred earth warriors, who are protectors of the animals, children, and all living things on Gaia. You are being asked to put your spirituality into practice and has to be a service to others. Every little action helps. Every act of love and kindness creates positive change. Um, yeah, so this is definitely, I'm getting strong um, feelings of just trauma that hasn't been dealt with. So let's try the angels and ancestors for any advice for either party on this relationship. Totally makes sense. Okay. The friend of noises. Okay, we got it. So Alright, we have the medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. Heart guardian, love and let yourself be love and druid hold the space. Um, this is the Jew is definitely telling me they're rushing it a little too much, and there's still some healing, um, especially with the heart chakra or just in love in general that has to be worked through. Um, because they definitely both have some sort of like blockages, um, that they have to work through. So that's interesting. And. this over here and I'm gonna do something way different I don't ever use this deck um, this is can we tell this is another youtuber these are channeled messages um, let's see what we get so let's see what Aaron has to say to her falling in the room. <laughs> Alright, so back <laughs> to the reading. <sighs> okay. Hmm. So 
interesting. We have listened to your heart. I want you. Have I lost everything? I'm too afraid to talk to you. That's an interesting combination there. What is nine there? Not compatible, lack of understanding, drifting apart. One of this media tension is causing issues for them. Queen of Wands, passion, take charge, and energetic. And justice, cause and effect, truth, get what is deserved. I'm kind of wondering if she is getting backlash from this. I don't know if she is because I don't follow news. Um, she could be getting a lot of backlash. Oh my gosh, me and the scammer today. Give me the card. I messed up my angle. <laughs> Why is Aaron afraid to talk with eight? Ooh, okay. We got the five of swords again. So, surrender, defeat, the cost of battle. This could totally be the media causing drama for him. This is the emperor, dependability, authority, and structure. That's, I think, the person he wants to be. He wants to be the emperor with her. And he definitely wants her to be the empress. So, that's what he's trying to give to her, I think. But he doesn't know how to communicate this. We have the death, this new beginning, transformation, and powerful movement. So, I don't, I think this is, like, going to change the relationship. I don't think it's going to end, but it's almost like a rebirth, if that makes sense. So, that was Aaron. Let's see with Shen Li. I don't want to say her name. I should have looked that up before I did this. Let's see what she has to say. Got quite a few that came out. This is Love Me. I want to start a family with you. You are very special. My life started when I met you. The Maybe card. One cup and words to hair. Total, total gossip, rumors, um, like, TMZ type things. That's what I get from this. Um, this maybe, I think she's questioning the relationship right now, which is totally normal. I mean, God. Celebrities get chewed out for their relationships, so yikes. Alright. So that's what we got for them. Hmm. I wanna do the yep. I'm gonna do compatibility based on the animal spirits. Cause why not? <laughs> oh, I want this card. I don't usually pull from the deck. So we got Earthworm. So Earth Energy. Oh, that's way too many. Whale. So we have Earth and Water. These signs are definitely compatible. The Earth is always very deep emotions, old soul. Um, what is the earthworm? Ew, come on. <laughs> See, I can't remember what the earthworm is. The shy, hesitant, and reluctant. Okay, so this is totally Shirley, and this is totally Aaron here. Um, we have all felt the woes of the earthworm at some point along the way. The earthworm indicates a newbie or novice working to establish confidence in a new field. Others around you may seem wise and experienced. But it's important to remember they once felt the earthworm energy too. This card is a reminder not to be intimidated or lose hope. Mastery takes time and you're on the right track. Besides, rumor has a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insight. 
when balanced, earnest, intelligent, and valuable. So, I think she's fairly new to relationships. Where Aaron's definitely way more experienced in this field. So I think that's what's happening, is she's not used to her relationships being in the spotlight. If she has been in relationships, they've been very quiet and kept away from the public. And this one is very public. So I feel like she's questioning it because she's not sure how to handle this. Dealing with the public with their relationship. Well, Aaron is pretty experienced. I mean, he's he's been a sports star for a long time. So he's definitely more experienced in this type of area. But I do think they're compatible. I just think she needs support to get through like this early stage of it. Um, and I definitely think Aaron's a person that could give it. So that's my thoughts on this relationship. Like I just haven't seen it. I'm like, this is totally not something I do, but totally something I want to do. So yeah, that's how we got here today. And thank you guys for watching, and hope you go check out some of my other videos. And...